Hi guys, it's Shell, Heart of It All Custom Creations. Welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Hit that subscribe button to see future videos. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. So today I am doing a custom camo tumbler um, for a customer. So let's jump right in. Starting with a 30 ounce Curve Tumbler Duo from the Stainless Steel Depot. And I went ahead and spray painted it and put one layer of epoxy. The spray paint I used was grape from Rustoleon, I believe, and um, went ahead and gave it one coat of epoxy so that um, when I lay down the vinyl, it won't pull up my paint. So I had used a burst tumbler, a camo burst template, I mean. And instead of using it in the traditional burst way, I'm using this. Um, just with vinyl and placing it randomly all over the tumbler. Once I'm satisfied with where every all of the vinyl is laid, I am gonna go ahead and seal all of this vinyl with CC DIY clear coat so none of this vinyl lifts. And then once that is uh, dry, I will add um, a coat of epoxy and I did add a little bit of marshmallow into the epoxy to give it a glitter. So now after that first coat, it covered the vinyl pretty well. Um, I did a little bit of a thicker coat so that I'd only need to do one. And now we're going to go ahead and place her name. So to place her name, I'm going to do it. As you can see, I put the lid on and um, it has a strap and it has the spout that you can drink from. Um, in order to be able to see her name, I went ahead and I'm placing her name on the side. So I'm using this, using white vinyl to put her name on. And right here, I'm just weeding out all the little bits in it. It's hard to see because this white is on a white backing, <laughs> but trust me, it's there. So once I get that done, I will get my transfer tape and apply her name onto the tumbler. So I pull the vinyl away from the backing and I'm going to place her name kind of at an angle on the side here. And um, because it is a curved tumbler, you kind of have to be careful not to wrinkle or uh, get bubbles into it. So I am taking my X-Acto knife and I'm cutting away some of, or slits, I'm sorry, into the transfer tape to make this easier to lay down. Once I get one side done um, and smooth that down, I will pull away um, part of the transfer tape from the top half to make it easier for the bottom half to lay down. I am so sorry if you can hear my grandson <laughs> screaming. He's not hurting. He's had some candy. Enough said. So I'm pulling away the vinyl, uh, the transfer tape, I'm sorry, little by little and, <laughs> and smoothing all of that down. And I will use the CC DIY Quick Coat to make sure that that vinyl doesn't lift. I add two more coats of epoxy to this. And um, once that is all dry and cured, 
here is the finished tumbler and I really hope that she is going to love this um, this these tumblers the duo lids they come with this um, black lid that has like the zipper part and a handle and then it also comes with a regular clear tumbler lid and they screw on so they're not going to pop off um, which I think is great. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did give it a great big thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!